how about a long-term review of the GORUCK GR3 35 liter, which I'm just now realizing is one of the most perfect travel bags, just because sometimes if I'm carrying like a GR2, I like to carry a, a bullet ruck or something else for around town. With the GR3 35 liter, I have all the capacity to carry everything I need in transit mode. And then when I get to my destination, I can go in mobile EDC mode where I'm not carrying everything because I can cinch down the straps and it just works fantastic. So let's do a long-term review of what I think of the GR3 35 liter single compartment bag from GORUCK. Had it for a while now, finally taking on a few trips, putting lots of miles on it. So let's take a look. Yep, time for an update. Again, this is the GR3 35 liter. Did a video a while ago, posted the link to that one so you can go back and just see the whole thing because that one does, I do a massive comparisons to a bunch of different 34 to 35, sort of this middle category bags, which is pretty cool. You get to see the layouts. Now this is exactly how I had it packed out on my recent trip, four to five days with just everything I needed. And so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see what it, this thing holds in terms of what I packed for just that five day trip. And the versatility of this bag is really where it comes into play because I can take everything out, compress these compression straps, and then have a bag that I wear around all, all around town, which is, you know, it's got a big footprint on your back, but it, got, it has the 210, just super wide straps, the ability to take my laptop, handles everywhere, both sides and the top. So it just really ends up being a great bag overall. In fact, I ended up carrying it on the side handle, almost like a briefcase around in certain cases when I was just carrying it because it was pretty compressed. Also, since I've done my video on this, got a couple other ideas for how to customize the inside. So we'll look at that here in a little bit, but this is how this thing is packed out. And when I first turned on the lights and turned on the cameras, I kind of looked at this thing and said, it kind of looks a little weird. Maybe I should take some stuff out and repack it. No, because you want truth data. What does it really look like when you pack it out? Well, this thing has got a ton of stuff inside. Again, we'll show you here in a little bit, but then I put my iPad, <laughs> you probably, your eyes are drawn to my iPad mini in here. And then I have these compression straps cinched down. So it kind of just makes the front of this thing kind of look a little funky, mostly because I have an iPad in here. So whatever you put in these front pockets is gonna kind of show because you're pulling the front tight on the GR3 front slash pocket. Again, one slash pocket here and a top pocket here, which is cool. Now, that's kind of my feedback here is, you know, this pocket gets really tight when you compress the sides. There's no added dimension added to the design. So getting this iPad mini, out can be challenging if you can do it and then getting it in you may have to unzip it a little bit undo the compression to get it in and then cinch it down so that's a concern but also it's just there's not a lot of stuff moving around if you're going the distance top wise you can also the way this thing is you know without even undoing the compression i can open this up i can get into the inside front pocket and any maybe bigger items that I would put in here, but which I really didn't do, but I can put stuff in this top pocket and I can access that on the go easily. The top pocket, which is really nice and convenient and super awesome. The advantage is this thing is just massive because it goes along the whole top part of this bag. The opening is ridiculous. What do I have in here? A little uh, flashlight, which is super cool. Just pick this one up. Uh, some Advil for that uh, random headache that you get maybe uh, traveling all day. The, you know, Max phone. Lots of room up there, plenty of room to put that in, take it out, whatever you want to do, just fits nicely. Uh, and really just a ton of other stuff. Sunglasses, reading glasses, everything kind of went in there. It's a big dump pocket because the size of this thing is pretty good in this size bag. The shoulder straps are beefy, go rock standard, super comfortable, sternum strap not included. So I had to add that. And again, anything with the 210 back from GORUCK lately, which most all of them are coming that way, I highly recommend a sternum strap just because things get a little slippery. And so it just kind of holds it together. Massive, massive 
bomb proof laptop compartment on this one so my 13 inch macbook pro 14 inch macbook pro gets swallowed up your 16 is going to fit in there i would be interested to know if you have a laptop that won't fit in this thing i would be dramatically surprised because it's just massive now this thing goes all the way down through here and you've got this pass through for the hip belt which i have here and honestly i normally have this folded over and stowed on the bottom of the bag but i just normally i take it out leave it at home because i'm not going to use it the only time i'd probably pull that out and dial that in is if i was going on a european vacation where i was going to wear this thing a lot going from train to hostel hotel around the city that kind of thing i'd probably have that with me but other than that no because i'm going to airport sit it next to me airplane overhead that kind of thing and definitely this is an overhead kind of bag so that's the outside i didn't really attach anything to the bottom but you can loop some straps through there and put some bigger things down there didn't really do that uh, just for your information. What else? Ah, oh, compression straps. This week I also traveled in this Unbound Merino compact travel hoodie, which is cool. It's not the collaboration edition, although I have one of those coming. Probably do a video on that shortly. I had my Flint and Tinder waxed trucker jacket. This is the flannel lined one. And when I was not using it in the airport, cinched it on the side. Now I can kind of be hands free as I go about my daily business, but just kind of like that. So I kind of wanted to show you how that worked out. Now, before I go to some accessories, let's show you what's all in here. Already talked about my laptop in the front, iPad mini up here, some accessories in here. Let's open up the inside to see how much stuff I take with me on a five day trip and how it packed out inside. What's in here? So let's just look at the big picture here. A lot of stuff, random uh, polo shirt that I had in here. I've got my mightier pouch, which you know, you've seen this before. Notebook, pen, screwdriver, flashlight, that kind of stuff. Just the things that I would need, you know, when I'm around town, just carry that. Also have my DOP kit. For me, I use a GR1 sized field pocket. And then I had a pair of jeans. Always have a pair of jeans with me. I usually travel in some sort of tech thing that looks a little more not denim. It's a, uh, this time it was the AT pants from Western Rise. So also this one fits this big peak design packing cube the medium size rather and the small so i have these two uh packing cubes with this one was all athletic equipment not athletic equipment this one was all running clothes that kind of stuff workout stuff and then this was just the day-to-day -day clothes and again everything is dirty on the inside so this stuff needs to go to the laundry asap bottom wise also had another pair of running shoes. So those were cool, had those with me this time. And then that's the end, that's the bottom. So this again, what's awesome about the GR3, 35 liter first single compartment. So the 34 liter GR2 is a two compartment thing. This is a big open bag, which I do like on trips because I can just kind of see everything versus, you know, the double compartment setup. Got one single strip of webbing in the back so you can loop some stuff in there. You could put this, in the back, super cool. I also have a couple of those field pockets that are have the hook on the back, so you can put those in there, super cool. Got another something like this coming out soon that I'm gonna, really excited to show you, but I don't have it right now. Uh, some other accessories that I will tell you about now because we're looking at this bottom, is that if you got one of the GORUCK DOP kits, they came with these accessory kit things you could customize the inside of the dot kit with hook now and i didn't think about this before my trip kind of mad at myself but i can put these in the back and now have the ability to have stuff in the bottom of my bag didn't add a ton of weight another pocket on the inside to hide some things maybe this is where i put my passport extra cash in the back uh, some other id that kind of thing which is super nice super cool probably gonna do that next time other accessories that you might see is these are some accessories from the Brown Buffalo where you can customize the inside of all of their packs. And so this is got hook in the back and then you can do two pockets on this one. This is a double layered set setup. So laptop sleeve, and then you got two other things in here. So this is two pieces, but you could put this on the inside of this adds 
a little more weight than I, than, than I typically want to, but if you really wanted to up your game in terms of utilizing the GR3, I would pick up some of these little accessory pieces from the dot kit. I think they're gonna make more of those or something from the Brown Buffalo. These are tough to get. They don't normally have these, so you're gonna to wanna to sign up for alerts if they ever come back, but these things are gold and extremely useful. All right, so one thing I didn't talk about is what's in these front pockets. The utility of the GR3 is we have three, two mesh and another pocket on the top. And this bottom one, I had my little travel pack. This is a Triple Out Design GPP-1. This is my Pocket 3 from DJI. In fact, I gotta update the firmware. They just have some cool stuff come out with that. But that one fits in the bottom. And then the middle, these are the same size. I actually had these swapped on the way out there. When I packed them coming home, I just swapped them. This is a Cap 1 from Evergoods. This happens to be the Phoenix Edition, which is my go-to travel. But they have different colors available. Link in the description, of course, if you wanna check out one of those. This is usually my charging stuff. Either little charging bricks for around town or all my charging cords. Everything I need to keep everything running is in the Cap 1. The top pocket ends up being my additional grab and go. This is some cash, passport, documents, other stuff. Things that I'm gonna want, but definitely don't wanna to have to dig for. Anyway, that's the GR3. When I was around town, I obviously left all of my packing cubes, my dop kit, and almost everything else. I kept the camera, I kept the charging stuff because I didn't know what I was going to use. I normally have this with me somewhere. I may have had the iPad or not, so I'll leave it in there. And then I just kind of went around town. And then with these compression straps, I just cinched that sucker all the way down. And it really reduces the bulk of the bag in terms of how far it sticks out from your bag, your back, but it definitely cinches down quite nicely. Now, the, what this solves is the situation where you're gonna take two bags. So I've done this before where I carry a GR2, any size really, and then I have a packable bag inside. If it's a GR2 34 or a 40 liter, I would carry a bullet ruck compressed on the back of that thing, not a laptop edition, just a regular edition inside. That's you know basically what they did with the Kaiden capsules, that kind of exact concept. If it's the 26 liter, then I normally have a Matador packable backpack, but either way, this setup eliminates that need because I don't mind carrying this bigger bag around town. It is big, but it's not terribly heavy. It retains all the super comfortable features. Because I have these handles, it just makes it kind of easier to throw around uh, and use. So that's my sort of pro tip. Use the GR3, 35 liters, your kind of solution for four to five day range trips. Again, inner airports, that kind of stuff, carries extra stuff with the compression strap, super cool. That's the GR3 35 liter, long-term update after a few trips, and especially this last five day one. So that's it. That's the GR3 35 liter. It's fantastic, it's awesome, super cool, very versatile bag, I like it a ton. It's just awesome, has that 210 back, has the 1000D everywhere else, handles, waist belt, padded, it's got everything. And it works out fantastically for me. In transit mode, in between places, got a ton of capacity. The straps will take all the weight and then you get to your destination and you unpack all that stuff, just put the essentials and you go about town. So it's great. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Lots more on the way. We got lots of stuff from GoRuck coming out. We got other reviews of things that you've wanted to see and it's now coming out. So subscribe, like, we'll see you in the next video. Nice. Yeah.